So I think a lot of people want to know this. Do you actually need German to be able to study and work in Germany? And do you speak German? <laughs> Hi! Hi everyone! We are here today somewhere in Dortmund and I have two of my friends here and we're gonna be asking some questions regarding life as a student and as a part-time researcher yeah, yep. yeah, in Germany. So we'll just head right into the introduction. So my name is Chris. I took IE Industrial Engineering in my bachelor's and yeah, now I'm here. And my name is Joseph. I took Information Technology in my bachelor's and I took the same class as Chris during my master's. So we are studying Systems Engineering and Engineering Management, the mechatronics focus. The thing about Systems Engineering, it's sort of like uh, Industrial Engineering as well, right? So we have like the tech side, we also learn the business side. That's why we have the business engineering, yep. we yep. have the project management. But what's interesting about SE is we get to learn this new stuff, things like machine learning. So this is uh, some things that I didn't learn personally in my IE class, did you? I did learn some of the machine learning stuff, but mm -hmm. then what interests me the most is the management and business side of things. I do have that in my classes, mm -hmm. in my bachelor's, but they are not as focused as what we have right now. I see. Yeah. Opposite to me, like mine is more to the yeah. technical side, yeah. right? Yeah. How did you guys actually get here? Like, did you apply directly from Jakarta? We almost have the same story. So we both applied internships in our university. They gave us the opportunity to do our bachelor's thesis each in our lab. Once we almost finished our thesis, they gave us the opportunity to continue working while we pursue our master's degree. So why not? Yeah, it's actually a funny story because both of us, after our bachelor thesis, we actually wanted to go home. Yeah, we didn't want to go home. <laughs> we really wanted to go home. We were already craving the food from yeah, home. We missed the Indonesian food. Yeah. But it wasn't really there for us because of Corona. My professor said that to extend your stay. Yeah. When he said extend your stay, and then he said he offered a job, and then he offered also the masters to continue. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I heard that you guys also do a part-time job. What do you do there, and where do you do it? I work in the automation lab in Fachhochschule. Well, in the automation lab, uh, the more prominent research are more to machine learning, reinforcement learning. However, in my case, I'm more focused to the AR side, which is augmented reality, creating these particular AR softwares for either training, fault detection, and etc. Starting from my internship, because I was already in the information technology focus, I mostly do software development. Can you guys tell us a bit more about your work, study, and life balance? Like, how are the working hours like? What's a typical week like in your life? So uh, it depends on your uh, working hours, right? So mostly, if you have this maximum working hours, 20 hours a week, right? As a student. Uh, yeah, as a student. Depending on your master schedule. Yep. In this second semester, it was on Wednesday, th Thursday, Friday, right? Yeah, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so you have Monday, Tuesday free. So if you're working 20 hours, you can go full on for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Maybe you could also work for, for a bit. For half day. Basically, just a lot of... <laughs> A lot of work to yeah, do. Yeah, a lot of work. Yeah, even Saturday becomes a, a study day. What are some things that are really nice then about studying and working in Germany? I guess it's more to blend in with the Western culture. Me, myself, I do like how they manage their work here. Planning in terms of like organizing. Yep, yep, exactly. They're very good, good at this. My co-workers, they usually plan like seven months, eight months ahead. Sometimes I, I don't even know what's going on. Then like, why, why are we doing this? Like, oh, this is for something in yeah. seven months ahead or something. Which is crazy to me. You know? Yeah, for me, almost every week we have this weekly meeting and we discuss what work needs to be done. So instead of giving orders, we were more like into discussing what's the best way to achieve our goal. And that's the part which I really like about working in here. So the working culture is really integrated yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So relating to that topic, you guys are technically foreigners in Germany. Yep. And you guys are fresh grads and going into masters, right? Yeah. Have you ever felt any discriminations in the class or in your lab? Actually, no. It, other than the fact that we are considerably younger than our peers, <laughs> but then yeah. uh, none of those negative stuff because, I don't know, it just never happened to us. Yeah, it, it never happened to me as well. In my lab, they're all very respectful. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, I think as long as you 
do the work and do everything right you don't really get any yeah. <laughs> like scolding or anything bad going on i mean we do respect each other as yeah. well so i guess mm -hmm. it's respect to be respected yep. i guess in yeah. that in that aspect yeah i agree with that so i think a lot of people want to know this do you actually need german to be able to study and work in germany and do you speak german <laughs> I think for the both of us, we don't really use German as like the primary language. Yeah, we, we are both sticking to English, as a, especially in our lab, we also use English every single day for uh -huh. work. But then we do know a bit of German because of course we need German for like the daily life. So not yeah, all of yeah. Germans can speak English. Yeah, yeah to get through the day. If yeah, you're to like get like grocery shopping grocery and shoppings. going if, somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's not like you'll die if you don't know any German. Yeah, so. I'd say so as well. And your studies are also in English. Yeah, our studies are also in English. What was your German level when coming here? The most basic one. The yeah, most I, basic believe, one. I believe that's why. Honestly, is, that, is that the most basic one? Nein, nein, it's A1. A1. But I think we are in A2 because we are in yeah, yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The hard part is just the grammar, honestly. The problem for me is the vocab, actually. Uh, we, we I don't really we know much opposite again. <laughs> I, I don't really know much German words other than racing stuff because I watch racing in German. But other than that, I didn't really study. Or... Okay, everything is sounding like it's going really smoothly so far. So what about the struggles? Like, are there any problems or anything hard that you faced the last couple years? Uh, well, in terms of like the school, and uh, work balance especially in times of corona right uh, since we're really busy and most of the things that we're doing in masters and in uh, work it's almost the same so you get kind of uh, burnt out like you do a lot of coding or you do a lot of like uh, technical stuff and it gets kind of boring yeah sometimes. It, it gets kind of overwhelming too for me in ie we didn't really do much coding But then now you're pushed into work that you have to code. Then in masters you have to code, and it's fully coding. yeah, it's fully coding, and it's 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 quite shocking to me. But yeah, it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it is fun to learn new stuff. So that's great. Yeah. More to expectations versus reality. Like, what did you expect of Germany, and are some of those expectations fulfilled or broken once you actually lived here? What I expect about Germany, they're really thorough, especially with their engineering side. Germans are known to. have really good engineers we have like auto manufacturers from germany as we know like mercedes and so on and i guess that's what i really like especially when you're still learning stuff that's my ex expectation and it is fulfilled almost goes over my expectations so for for me the expectations that i had I, is almost similar to you but more to just the technology aspect yeah true. because i feel like they're very invested in new technology they're yeah, very exactly. interested in the research as well so things like augmented reality is it's something uh, relatively new yeah. Yeah. and not much people are like uh, in, te in terms of companies are trying to implement this but here they're trying to push it you know even yeah. though it's not as useful as you imagine but they're working for it right? yeah. they're going through it they're exactly. going through the research and they're trying to make it happen yeah, and that's and what i like i thought working in here was like you need to get things done but for example you don't know some things in that work you can tell them that it might take more time and they will also understand that oh you're still learning and then you're still quite young so they're not as scary as you thought it would be yeah you guys are supporting yourselves financially right from yeah. your part time is it so tight as like how's the student budget looking for wohnung and for free time for food Actually, say. it was quite relaxing. I mean, yeah. like with our wage right now and with what our expenses, mm -hmm. we still have quite a lot to, you know, buy some stuff that we want. Kind of depends as yeah. well, right? In terms of like the base, then we're safe. You yeah, know? We're safe. But if you're still the type of person who wants to buy a lot of stuff, yeah. then Germany can get expensive yeah. because... It all, it all depends. But if you didn't spend too much, then you can even save for your future, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah. it all yeah. goes back on you. So what are your plans for the future, the near future? So uh, at least in my case, I have two things that I have in mind after masters. Uh, I could try to find a job probably around uh, tech, most likely in augmented reality. But in that case that this does not work out because of my bad German, <laughs> then probably I would really love to pursue a um, PhD. And my, actually my supervisors have already been trying to put me into this path. It's a nice path, but the commitment and uh, probably the difficulty itself of doing a PhD, yeah. it's gonna be quite heavy. So that I have to think about. I think I'll go for normal work, not PhD like Chris. In the place that I'm working right now, also in the lab, for 
minimum two years, let's say four to five years to get the expertise of software programming and more specifically actually it's web development because I'm really passionate about it as a professional field and after those two to five years uh, I'll see where I can go from there. What are some messages you have to people who are aspiring to study or work in Germany as engineers? For my case I give the examples about working and learning together so they are not as stiff as you think they are also humans let's say so they can understand what you're going through and they're quite fun to talk to actually i mean we have this stereotype where it's kind of hard to talk with germans but then in work meetings i sometimes talk about uh, non-working stuff with my supervisor so if you get the works done and if you also respect others then they'll do the same to you as well so yeah it's not like they're robots or anything they're still humans they're, they're the same like us it's just that they have a slightly different culture and way of thinking. First of all, I'd say that it'd be really nice that of course you learn the German language before of you course. come here. Yeah, because, of course, makes sense. Um, in our case, we can survive with minimal German uh, language skills yeah. at least. But if you're talking about if you're trying to socialize, you're trying to get like friends who are German, it would be much better that you speak their language, of course, yeah. this is their country. It's also showing a form of respect mm -hmm. in a way. Yep, yep, exactly. But in, in terms of work, uh, as Joseph said, if you actually take it seriously and you do your job, you, yeah. you do it well, yeah. then everything should be fine. Uh, there, there, be, there should be no problem. Mm -hmm. It goes yeah. the same for everywhere in the world. So yeah, yeah. So that wraps up for the day. Thank you, Chris and Joseph, for yeah, thank you. No attending to this <laughs> non-formal interview. It really gave us a lot of insights. So if you guys have any more questions regarding studying or working in Germany or anything about engineering or anything about them, then just comment below and maybe we can make a part two with them. So this is Jen signing out and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, that one's woodly, no? As a professional field to go, oh! We're the same, no?